Welcome to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at Philippians chapter 2 and verse 15. Three character qualities that we are called to cultivate. We are called to be blameless. We are called to be pure and innocent. And we are called to be faultless. And yesterday we said we need to be faultless in our speech and we need to be faultless in our finances. I want to give the example of the Apostle Paul. It's kind of incredible uh, what he says in Philippians chapter 3 and verse 6. Paul, talking about his former life, says, As for legalistic righteousness, faultless. He's using that same word, faultless. Before Paul came to know Christ in a very personal way, he tried his best to live up to the law. He uh, wanted to earn self-righteousness. And uh, he looked at the Ten Commandments. He looked at all the other commandments in the Bible, the Old Testament. And he kind of ticked it off. And he said, done it, done it, done it. Yes, Paul was keeping the letter of the law. But who can live up to the spirit of the law? That's again mission impossible, apart from the grace of God. So Paul is making a very honest assessment of his life. Before I came to know Christ, with regard to legalistic self-righteousness, I was faultless. No one could point a finger and say, I was failing here, failing there. But then everything changed, isn't it? Everything that he had tried to acquire, gain by self-effort, he calls them rubbish when he encountered the risen living Christ. Now, here is a beautiful promise from Jude 24. Jude 24. Now to him who is able to keep you from falling, and to present you before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy. This benediction gives me great hope. It says that our God is able. The Lord Jesus Christ is able. And there are two things that are mentioned as to what he is able to do. He is able to keep me from falling. And all of us, every single day, we have the potential of slipping and falling, <clears throat> spiritually speaking. We can slide and we can take a very heavy fall. And here God says, he is able every day to keep us from falling, falling into sin and bringing disrepute to God. But then it goes on to say, he is able to present us before God's glorious presence without fault. Without fault. That is the power of God operating in our life every single day where God protects us, not only from falling, but uh, from uh, failing. Falling is one thing, but uh, failing is another thing. Uh, falling can uh, happen uh, without my even knowing it, unexpectedly, suddenly. Failing can be very intentional, deliberate, and uh, I can sin with my eyes wide open. And here God is able to protect me and to present me before the Father without fault, covered by the robe of Christ's righteousness. And every fault, the Holy Spirit will convict me. And then when I confess, I'm cleansed and I'm able to keep moving forward. 
So I want to encourage you with that beautiful benediction in Jude 24. I want to encourage you to memorize it. And I want to encourage you to pray it uh, for yourself. You know, uh, when we think of uh, faultless, you and I can very easily fall into the trap, the fault-finding trap. We look at fellow believers and we are very quick to notice their faults. And uh, we are quick to see the faults in others, but we are very slow to see the faults in us. And again, that's human nature. So we need to avoid that temptation to intentionally, deliberately look for faults in others. Always look for something positive in another believer that you can compliment them about and thank God for them, right? We are not called to be fruit inspectors. We are called to be fruit bearers. Can I repeat? We are not called to be fruit inspectors. We are called to be fruit bearers. If you do spot a fault in a fellow brother, I would suggest that you secretly pray for that brother and for that fault. And if the Lord should so lead you, you can talk to that person one-on-one -on -one lovingly, very lovingly, and help that person to uh, overcome that fault. So may God give us grace to live faultless before God. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.